It's late, it's been a busy day, I've got my dark and stormy and I'm absolutely starving. What better snack? Is it a snack really? It's an entire meal's cal day's calories. It's a military ration pack from Lithuania. Now, this is already out of date. It's 2020 as I record this. This dates back to 2018. What's a couple of years between friends? Now, it's got a wee rip bit at the top to help you open it. So let's rip it there and get the fingers in. And, oh, let's destroy the place, shall we? Maybe too much dark and stormy. Uh, so let's get this open and get the contents out. So what do we have? We have a cardboard box. We've got that little pack there. A cardboard box with the main meal in it. We've got uh, a little cardboard pouch. A tray for food heating. Okay, this is... Oh, actually, no. This is the little... Uh, this is the little food heater. Hold on. This is the fold-out stove. Oh, look at the white flaring out. That's terrible. Hold on. I'm going to tame this down just a little bit. Is this... No, actually, tell you what. Let's... Uh, is that going to tame it down? Yeah, it's a little bit better. And keep this... But I don't know. You can never really tell with the MREs. Uh, where was I? I? I bought an MRE a while back and uh, made a video about it. And then I thought, well, I'll make up. I'll get another one because I, I really quite liked it. So I did, and then I thought I'd better lay off the MREs because I've been doing too many. And now I get round to eating it. It's kind of out of date, but not to worry. All right, okay. Do you know what this is? This is the heating sleeve, this cardboard sleeve. This is a chemical heater. Now, so let's get this on the go. Let's start this heating. I have to say that uh, most of this stuff usually has English and the native language, Lithuanian. Usually has that, yes. Hazelnuts, that's a really odd one. That's nice, lots of hazelnuts. Hopefully they're still edible. Rusks. What's this? Uh, no, maybe it's not all, maybe it's not necessarily in there. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's, let's Carry on where I left off. Really, I shouldn't drink dark and stormers before making these videos. That would help. So here we have the chemical heater, and here is where there's a bit of a, a bit of um, controversy. Some people say, "Let's uh, let's get scissors." It's very slippy plastic, and I'm going to use scissors to open this, just like you'd have in the battlefield. A bit controversial because the first one. It actually encourages you to put the meal in the bag with the ration heater. And this basically, the ration heater is made of two uh, granulated metals that when they get wet, they form a battery, but a battery in salty water that effectively shorts out. So chemically, the current passes and it heats up the water and it basically cooks the food. However, let's see what it says in the instruction, because in some recent ones, it said don't put the food inside the ration heater pack. Uh, in uh, heater sleeve, insert sealed meat container. Add sixty milliliter water to sleeve. So this one is actually saying put it into the sleeve with the metals and chemicals. Other ones they say add the water to the ration the heater and put it separate to in the sleeve, but with the meal separate so it doesn't actually get contaminated with chemicals. This one's not saying that. So let's prepare this. Open the sleeve at top. Insert sealed meal container in the sleeve. Let's put the chemical sachet back in, shall we? Insert the meat sealed meal container, which is Troskinta Vistiana Surizio Cosse. I haven't a clue what that means. Um, I'm guessing from the pack this came in that it might be some sort of sausage stuff. So let's put this in. Uh, fold sleeve. Add sixty milliliters of water to sleeve. How do you measure the water? It's got a little. Uh, it's got a little tidal line here. Fold sleeve over meal, and after twelve minutes, the meal is ready to eat. Excellent. Right. Tell you what. I'm going to add the water now to that line. I've not had much luck with these ration heaters working properly because, uh, for some odd reason, maybe it's just because they're old. It's not really. Triggered, right? That is up to the correct water level. Let's fold this over. 
and stuff it into here. And I shall also, actually, I'll it up this way. Uh, is there a little sticker to... Yeah, there is a little sticker to hold it shut. Excellent, let's put the sticker on it. Last time it made fizzing noises and it swole up and was scary. Hopefully it'll do the same again this time. So let's mash. Let's get this off to start by mashing the thing to try and get that started. And once I detect some heat... Uh-huh. Not detecting heat... Okay, is it soaking in? It is soaking in. Maybe it just takes a while. I shall shove this inside. This sleeve. Loud, crinkly plastic noises. And I shall tuck that off to the side. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We've got the rusks, which are usually very hard, and they're kind of designed for long life. Let's sniff them. They smell smellless. And this is going to be rock hard. Oh, mm-hmm. That is rock hard. Hard rusks. We've got the hazelnuts. I want. I really want a hazelnut. There's a hazelnut. It's trying to escape. Mm. Does it taste okay? Yes, it does. Very crisp. That's nice. Mm. Oh, other things we've got here. We've got a spoon to eat the meal with. Is that heating yet? Is it doing anything? No, it's just sitting there doing what they do. If it fails completely, I'll put it into my bachelor bowl and I shall microwave it. But sometimes it just kind of starts after a while. Hmm. We'll see what happens. We've got the spoon. We've got the heater tablets that go with this little heater. So this is actually a cooker. And you fold it down like this. And up like this. And you place one of the heater blocks, or more than one of the heater blocks, um, on that and put your food on top. And that then cooks your food. I've really messed up bending that. Mm. But that's the idea. Heater blocks. Matches. A refreshing towel. A cable tie. I'm not sure what the cable tie is for. Any idea what the cable tie is for? Okay. Matches. Blue matches. Testing matches. Ooh, ferocious matches. Yeah, that's good. Almost tempted to light one of these, but it will burn with a semi-visible flame and that'll be it. What else have we got? Honestly, this is like a lucky bag for adults. It's got a food packet component. It's got a list of things with information about them and weights and... Hazelnuts, noisettes, natural honey. Honey? Okay. So what have we got? We've got cucurus sugar. We've got cava instant coffee. Okay. We've got vitamin C drink with sweeteners. Not sure how much water you're supposed to use with that. It's 30 grams. Does it have the instructions for how you make it? I can hear bubbling noises. The chemical reaction is happening in this pat pouch to my left. Uh, vitamin C without sweeteners. Uh, does it have British instructions? Yes, it kind of does. It's more the ingredients. 600 of cold water. Oh, 600 milliliters of cold water, right. Okay. May have an adverse effect. Uh, hold on. I'm just wondering what this adverse effect is. Uh, content of the bag with 600 milliliter cold water stir up well. May have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. It's fucking military, for fuck's sake. Jesus. Who gives a shit about the kids? They're not going to be eating this. Right, okay. So let's pour half of it. Ooh, crystals. Is this drugs then? Uh, and let's top that up with water. I have water. I sh I've got a spoon. Yeah, that's fine. 
Here's the water. That's not enough water. One moment, please. More water. Okay. Uh, spoon, and let's just stir that a bit. Though in previous experience, I found that it tends to contain quite a lot of sugar, and that sugar then takes ages to dissolve. I suppose you're supposed to put it into a drink bottle or canteen or something like that. That's just going to basically just dissolve slowly in the background. Mm. What else have we got? Chocolate. Is it solid? Is it going to be melted? The other one I got was kind of melted. This one has a slight bloom on it. It's two bars of chocolate. And they've got a slight bloom, just which is normal. It's the cocoa fat coming out. Um, Ruta, Anno 1913. I hope it's not made. I hope that's not the best before date. That would be quite dramatic. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm. Very sweet chocolate. Although it looks like dark chocolate, it's not super bitter. But I'm guessing then from the thing that this is actually honey. Let's get the honey out and dip crackers. The honey is not runny honey at all. I just feel the, the need to sniff that now as precaution. Smells fine. Cracker. Honey. Right. There may be a problem here. The honey is super rigid. That may just because it's crystallised. Presumably if it was heated up. Mm. Mm. Can honey go off? This thing at the side is doing what they normally do. It's swelling up quite dramatically. Technically speaking, I could put the honey on top of that. And the heat, when it finally gets into the full swing of things, would actually make that um, sort of recrystallise. Right, tell you what. Rather than torture you by trying to pass time while this chemical pack makes loud creaking noises, which is interesting in its own right, it's it's absolutely swelling up quite dramatically inside. Was I supposed to um, fold it over that many times? That's got me quite worried. I've also been told that this is generating oxygen and hydrogen. And while there's the temptation to light it with a match, Right now. A great temptation to light it with a match right now. That's a terrible idea, Clive. Don't do that. Don't, Clive. Stop. No, I must. What's the worst could happen when... Oh. Let's squeeze some of it out first. Let's squeeze some of it out first and then stick a match into it. This is where it all ends very badly, isn't it? This is a terrible idea. This is where... The whole thing is going to explode, isn't it? Why Why am I doing this? It seems such a stupid thing to do. But that is fundamentally what's making me do it. Is it going to go bang? Yes, yes, it went bang. So for reference... Uh, yeah, there's flames coming out now. Oh, right. Don't do that. It does actually not just blow up, but then it sustains the flames. Right, I'll put that back in the pouch. Right. That was exciting. I'm not doing that again. But it had to be done. It's really active now. There's a, It's blowing steam out everywhere. Hopefully it's just steam and not flames after what I just did. But I guess we'll find out. In due course, the battery is, yeah, really violent now. Maybe that's what you have to do. You just stick a match in it and that just activates it more. Right, tell you what, I'm going to drink this orange. Where is the spoon? Give it a stir. Okay, yeah, it would be better with some vodka added to it, but that's a minor technicality. Um, and then I'm going to taste it, because it's kind of more or less dissolved now. Mm. Weak orange flavour, strong orange colour, lots of sugar. That's really just what you'd expect of this stuff, isn't it? 
If anything, that uh, well, the sugar, there's still loads of sugar in it. It's not dissolved yet. It's one of these things that you'd probably have to leave it for a while. Right, tell you what, I shall pause momentarily while this incendiary device to my left here uh, finishes... <sighs> Blame me, that is hot. Let's put the honey on top now because that is definitely going to have an effect. Uh, I'll pause and I'll come back once this is cooked and then I'll get my bachelor bowl out. We'll skip out into the bachelor bowl and we shall ascertain what it's like. And in the meantime, I shall finish drinking this and I'll get the coffee and we'll test the coffee and see what it tastes like. Back with my bachelor bowl and I'm ready to eat, he said. Moving that over there out the way. I've, I haven't used these little heater tablets. No need. I've got, I've got a kettle here. I have made the coffee. The coffee, I just threw all the coffee powder in and all the sugar and that's not going to be great for going to bed after this video, but not to worry. Mm. It didn't come with milk, but you know what? Throwing all the powders in exactly as I do in the same, if, if I was actually out in the field as such, has produced not an overly strong coffee, it's generic instant coffee. It's fine. It tastes absolutely perfect. Mmm. Let's get the uh, meal out of the pack that I blew up earlier. It's all a bit shriveled at the end. It's actually heat sealed itself because I set it on fire. Excellent. Well done, Big Clive. Yes, let's not set fire to the meal again. Although, to be fair, I do have a record of setting fire to meals. That's the way I cook. Out comes the pack of food. I could have got a paper towel and dried this off, but not to worry. What does it say here? Uh, I've already read that, didn't I? Uh, oh, it does say 6-1-2019, so it's got a different expiry date. I guess the expiry date must be the sort of lowest common denominator in the pack. The packet itself says, Sosasis Maisto Davinis. I'm guessing it's going to be... Well, tell you what, let's get it out and see what it looks like. Oh, there's the, the rip tab at the end. So we'll rip it open and get it into my bachelor bowl that some of you may recognise as a noodle bowl of that comes with the noodles in it already and you just pop the shrink wrap, up, wrap off and add water. Hold on, let's pour this out. It's got rice, it's this kind of stew I guess. The rice is kind of worrying me now because it doesn't smell like it's off. I've had dark and stormies containing ethanol, it should be absolutely fine. So this is a kind of ricey stew. I'm just going to sniff it again. Because obviously you can smell food poisoning in advance, not really. Let's taste this. Mm. It tastes exactly what you'd expect. A sort of meaty... Uh, hold on, I'm going to have a bit of the meat. I would say... I thought sausages maestro divinis. Sausages might be sausage, but it's not sausage meat. It's more like a lean meat in there. There is this uh, rice as well, and uh, that's fundamental. Rice and meat and some vegetables. That's absolutely fine. I will just keep gorging some of it. Mm. Mm. The chocolate was fine, as you can see, because I've eaten quite a lot of it. The hazelnuts are really nice. If anything, the hazelnuts are the only thing that may show a slight hint of the age of the meal because we've got that slight older nut taste. You know, it kind of oxidises. But not all of the nuts. And they're really nice. They're really crisp hazelnuts. That's nice. The honey is crystallised. I tried eating it in the pack. It didn't work. I microwaved it for a, a t about 10 seconds. It solved it a little bit, but didn't work. I didn't want to microwave it to the point the plastic turns into a poodle of poodle. A puddle of goo. A poodle of gah. The crackers are interesting because... And remember this in the last time. They have a very distinctive taste, and it happens in little bursts. And if you read the ingredients, which are in English, it's got allergy warnings on it. The product may contain milk, eggs, soy and peanuts, and wheat flour, to be honest. That may, maybe shows its age here. It says the ingredients are wheat flour, rye flour, invert sugar, non-hydrogenated vegetable fat, salt, sugar, glucose syrup, cumin, and baking yeast. And the cumin is the bit, the cumin seeds are the bit that gives it this 
little explosion of flavour happens every so often. Really odd and distinctive. It's quite nice, actually. Maybe that's a cultural thing. Now, with reference to the fact that the instructions in most of these European packs are also in English, that's because of NATO, probably. NATO is a military alliance that was formed between America, Britain and various European countries. And it was to protect us from Russia, apparently. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think that Russia has any plans to take over the rest of the world anytime soon. But I remember when I was young, it was all... There's always been this hysteria about Russia and, you know, how they've got nuclear weapons and you must get under the kitchen table and the bomb goes off because that's, like, totally going to help. And how they've got death weapons from space. And it turns out it was just a way to justify military spending because uh, the government was making lots of money through putting that military spending through intermediate parties. A mm. little bit of military politics there. The... Orange drink is not that exciting. It's very bland. It's mostly sugar and orange colouring. It was. It didn't taste terribly strong at all. Mm. I'm going to keep eating this. This is nice. I very much doubt I'm going to get food poisoning off this, but I'll let you know afterwards if I do. The best before dates are usually sort of safe... Because they allow for the fact it might be stored in a stored in a sort of very hot environment. In my case, it's stored in a nice, cool, central area in the house, so it doesn't ever get really get hot. Mmm, mmm, that's nice. That is very nice indeed. But then again, as you all know, I'm not exactly noted for my culinary discretion. Or is that the really the word for it? I'm not adventurous in terms of. Cooking microwave rice and beans and noodles, it's all good to me. Mmm, the coffee. I've already told you about coffee. I'm going to chug that down right now. Mmm, oh. the coffee is actually quite nice. I wonder what they're, they do for creamer. Because there was no cream reaction included. Maybe they just expect the coffee to be drunk black. But there we go. I don't know if there's anything else to say. I shall open the uh, the little citrus wipe because it's the only last. It's the last thing that's left, isn't it? Uh, I shall open the citrus wipe. Tell you what, I'll light one of the fuel tablets as well, so you can see what it looks like. But I don't think it's going to be that exciting. The citrus wipe, if it is citrus, it's got a picture of a lemon on it, so I'm guessing it's going to be citrus. Hold on, I'm just going to sniff it. It smells like chemical citrus, and it's wet. That's really what you'd expect. Right, hold on, let's get one of these. This is where a knife would be quite handy. This is where people will also warn me that the material it's made of is not really suited for burning indoors, and I will just completely ignore them. Mm, here we go. Uh, I'll put it under the camera and light it. That sounds like a great idea. Where's the matches? There's the matches. Deg Tukai. Safety matches. Oh, they are ferocious. They are clear designed for... Mm -hmm. Is it going to light? I think if I recall when I lit one of these with Ralph when we were doing an MRE... That it took a bit to light one of these. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll set fire to my bench here. Oh, it is lit. It's not terribly bright. I won't leave it under the camera too long. I shall turn the light off and I shall take the exposure off. It's kind of, yeah, you're seeing as it pretty much as it is. It is just not terribly visible. I shall, I shall just take that through and put it somewhere. Actually, I'll just put it to the side here where it's not directly under the camera. That seems like a good idea. Absolutely. Okay. So yeah, that was the uh, Lithuanian meal ration. I believe it was number eight, although they might have changed the numbering system since. And uh, I would say, yep, that was just up to the expectations of the other MREs I've tried. It was delicious, particularly for bachelors and bachelorettes and, you know, even the bland crackers. The rigid honey, 
it's still, maybe that's a good idea because it doesn't drip off because it actually stays on the cracker. And those little cumin seeds actually add a lot to the, the cracker. It gives those little bursts of variety. Mm. And that's it. So yes, I give that a total thumbs up. I'm going to have to buy more MREs now. That was absolutely delicious and well worth getting. <laughs>